Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today's a beautiful day because any day one could be out on two wheels is a beautiful day. Yeah, we're taking the CB500F out. It's heavily revised this year in 22. Let's start with the engine. They massaged or tweaked the fuel injection to bring on torque sooner in the RPM range, a little lower. Also with the engine, the radiator is new. It's a little lighter. Forks are new. Also, the brakes are new. Two discs now instead of one. Also, the rear swing arm is now aluminum, giving it lighter and also moving the weight just a hair forward to give the steering a little more stability and control in a corner. And yeah, I'm loving that. That was very, very nice. Now, all this in an effort to save on weight is what they're doing. Now, let's say, what do you mean, I save on weight? Well, you, you add an extra brake disc, an extra four piston caliper. Yeah, it's gonna get a little heavy. But how is this in this group of lightweight standard naked bikes? You can see here, this Honda is king on power, king on torque, king on engine size, and of course, king on weight. And then, yeah, look at the last one. It's king on price, too. Now, the other end of the spectrum is, yeah, you would have guessed it. Who would have guessed a BMW is the least in price, least in weight, least in engine size, least in torque, and least in power. Yeah, I'm laughing because that's funny. Uh, I never thought BMW would be last in all of these, <laughs> or least in all of these competitions. How does this powertrain feel on the street? The power comes on right there and you got to get her up above five. Yeah, it's only a 471 cc. That's all that's going to happen. You got to rev this thing a little bit to get some something out of it. That's for sure. Uh, but this the clutch engagement is a little late for my taste, but it works. Uh, it's smooth, nice, easy pull. And you can just give this thing you can wring its neck and it does not mind at all at all whatsoever and so and yeah it's this parallel twin that han has been making for what four decades three at least three decades now uh but yeah uh it's spotless There's no holes in the rpm rev range here uh, it's as expected as delivered Honda. Good job. I'm loving this powertrain Two thumbs up. Boom boom Coming up to the chassis here. Look at these beautiful showers here 108 mils of travel 296 millimeter dual disc now the previous had a 320 but it was only one disc and the caliper before was only two piston now it has four pistons and two of them so that's the added weight there uh, 119 mils of travel suspension travel on a 240 disc with a one piston nissan there now how does this all new chassis feel in a curve on a rough road this suspension is spot on uh, with these big piston forks and separate fork function so that means the the spring preload is on one side and then the dampening the compression and rebound is handled on the other and i have as of yet to ever complain about this setup from show up in any bike and again i'm loving this this thing just rails into a corner Oh yeah, and loves it. It's so confidence-inspiring. Wow, I'm loving this suspension. Now, how is this rear brake? Here, let's get on it a little bit. And oh yeah, I can feel it there. Good, I, I, nice feel, nice delivery, nice feedback. Let's try the front now. Oh, lo look at that. Oh, there's kicking in the ABS on the front. <laughs> yeah that's pretty good nice feel nice feedback once again with these new four piston dual calipers on the front now yeah that's pretty good as for the brakes and so i'm loving this hello 
he didn't wave. He couldn't take his hand off. He was going too fast. <laughs> That's what happens when you're on a ninja. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be riding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this this chassis with this, it, it only got better. Anytime you put the big piston separate fork function show was on a bike, it's going to get better, period. Uh, and the the adjustment that they did on the rear too with these five adjustment setting preload settings instead of nine it, they seem to have nailed this you know and and i'm sitting here at 85 kilos probably with all my gears gear on and it's loving this let's get into the ergonomics here coming to, to the back here nice graphics liking that sticker uh, this looks like uh, punched out steel or aluminum. Uh, 800, no, I'm sorry, 785 millimeters off the ground. It actually was nice and wide, and plenty of room. This, okay, maybe not so much room, but hey, it's a 500. Uh, 17 liter tank. This tank filled up weighs, of course, you guys know, 189 kilos. How do those kilos fill? feel in a little small village how is this thing in the little village oh as expected come on with 189 kilos and the throttle mapping is pretty darn good for the other bikes in this group is what i'm comparing to is is, is it a gs no it's not it, but it's pretty good uh and yeah, of course, nimble. This thing is so flickable. <laughs> it's hilarious. Hilariously good. And the off. Uh, I will not complain about this throttle. Woo! Actually went down in the first. <laughs> yeah, this is excellent. No complaints whatsoever. This a, a little snatchy here. I'm in third though at doing 50 and my only complaint would be this this tft well it's lcd is kind of hard to see all the time i know i'm in third but to see the rpms that can be kind of difficult over there i'm right on right below four i'm at 375 right around but overall in town other than you know the lcd this is getting two thumbs up. This is a very fun. I would do love the commute on this thing. No problem. This thing will whip in and out of traffic without any issues whatsoever. Two thumbs up. Boom, boom. Coming up to the controls, pretty standard here. Standard controls here. And the LCD is kind of difficult to see in sun. I wished it was a little lighter brighter no tft although in this group yeah, it's not going to get i think only the ktm has it a tft uh so oh and while up here look at this too yeah the turn signals stay lit so that's a safety feature so help to see motorcycles that are coming onto an intersection for example so nice added safety features honda Okay, guys, verdict. <laughs> yeah, anytime you give me Showa big piston forks uh, with separate fork function down there in this price range, you're going to get two thumbs up from me. I'm going to love it. I'm just telling you. Uh, then with this added swing arm, you're moving the weight a little bit forward to give it a little more precise handling. Yeah, great job. I'm, I'm loving this machine. You guys can tell. It is the leader, price leader in this group, and you get what you pay for. Also, that's not always true. Usually is true with Honda though, with the reliability and the maintenance and the safety features, but you're getting all everything that you pay for with this bike when you compare it to the other bikes on this chart. So overall guys, yeah, strong recommend buy. Uh, for an entry level or somebody who's midway in their riding career and you just want a fun lightweight naked bike boom this is it 
All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. As always, guys, ride safe. That's most important on the list. And number two, ride like there's nothing to prove. Take care. Cheers.